In this video, let's talk about the setup on Apple stock that I tweeted out on Twitter. Apple stock has a very nice setup for a nice call option play. And in this video, I'll be going over the play and the full technical analysis. So I got into call options at the money next week expiration. And in this video, I'll be going in very, very in depth. Even if you have no idea what I am talking about, I'll be going in very, very simple turns. And we'll be taking a look at a whole really big picture. And it'll be going in very in depth as well as going over the SPY, the top 500 stocks in the market, as well as the QQQ, which is the tech ETF to make sure that the whole market is looking bullish with our setup for Apple. So let's get started. Before I get started, make sure to follow me on Twitter. That is where I post live charts, live alerts, and as well as make sure to subscribe with notifications on YouTube. And make sure to check out Moomoo. Link in the description. If you deposit $1, you can get a free stock with Moomoo, kind of like that Weeble as well as Robinhood deal going on, but with a different broker. Now let's get started with Apple. Now before I get into the smaller picture, this very nice setup um, of symmetrical triangle. Let's take a look at a bigger trend and the overview of Apple. So we can take a look at a bigger picture and the overall picture is that we have been declining steadily because of recession concerns. We have interest rates and then we have the massive layoffs coming in with tech layoffs. And we can see that Apple stock, again, is no different. We have been um, dropping for a while now and it's been really a while and we're taking a look at a setup where we kind of have a leg up to the upside and now we are trading sideways so we are taking a look at a sideways movement a potential breakout to the upside to test this level of resistance so this is going to be our main price target and in fact this is going to be our third price target which i want to go in later in this video so let's get started that is the bigger picture that we are looking at massive decline we have a leg up and we have this level of resistance that we might test in the near future so we might be setting up for a test and a steady up climb to test that level of resistance now let's zoom in a little bit over here and things get a lot better and things get a lot nicer we have a nice symmetrical triangle setup so this uh triangle setup is that we have our support and then we have our level of resistance so level of resistance is kind of the roof where price rejects and support is where price keeps bouncing and we can see that we are getting tighter and we are getting tighter so we are getting ready to break out the either side and in fact today we closed right around that area so our golden zone is going to be around 154 dollars we really need this level to push we need a push at this level and above 154 dollars is going to be our level that we want to break that is going to be the bullish level that we need to see psychologically so this is going to be the level and then the first price target that i am looking at was is 157 dollars which is our wick resistance so this is our wick resistance i'm going to change the color to green so we have this breakout area and then we have our first price target right around here and our second price target is going to be another level of resistance so we could see that this previous resistance we charted 157 is a major level of resistance this is our first price target second price target and the third and last main price target that i went over in the start of the video is this crucial major level of resistance that i went over over now let's get over into the stop loss and the stop loss is simple really the break below of the symmetrical triangle so i'm going to color this red this is going to be our stop loss if we close below this the whole play is going to be invalidated okay that is going to be very very bad so that's going to be our stop loss for apple and I'm kind of guessing that our risk to reward is going to be one to one or one to two. So we're risking one to make one or we're risking one to make two, depending upon how the play goes. But this is going to be our stop loss for Apple. And that is really it. It looks amazing. We have been trading sideways for really the past week. And when we are trading sideways, 
when we are trading sideways, we are getting ready to a move to the either side and as for now we really closed above the level of resistance and if you already entered in calls we really need a break above 154 dollars and at five minutes right at market open we need to see that 154 break and once we do break that level it is going to have a incredible incredible run and i'll be leaving updates on twitter live on twitter because once it breaks, the psychology, the factor on that and the chart would look very, very bullish and would look very, very nice on the daily time frame, which again, I'll be updating you guys live on Twitter. So that is it for Apple stock. Looks very good. And the contract that I got is next week at the money calls and the reason that i got next week is first of all this is going to be really a short-term play so a couple days to the most a week because again we have this setup on the symmetrical triangle and we are getting very very tight so we are going to break out you know either this week so our price target our expiration is next week so that is it and we have calls that at the money because we don't want to go higher because of the theta risk and if it starts breaking out tomorrow i'll be entering in some more calls tomorrow once we get the confirmation so that is it with apple and next i want to take a look at the Qs, which is the tech etf so qqq holds a bunch of tech stocks tesla apple meta amazon google and all of that a bunch and i want to take a look at the overall market because i really want to see that okay the market market also looks bullish that means that if the market runs if the spy runs if qqq runs apple will run with it and if apple runs that setup and breakout is going to be incredible so with qqq we even have a way way better scenario when we take a look at a bigger picture because with apple apple was still in that downtrend we are still in that recession downtrend while the queues we have broken that trend we have broken that huge huge level of resistance so this is very 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 bullish because we have broken a major level of resistance look how many times it took before we finally break out this is really the final boss the final boss level of resistance that you know like we're in a recession we're not gonna break out but finally we did so that is very bullish we legged up and now we have a leg down and we are consolidating and if we take a look at qqq if we zoom in we are right around that level of resistance so the only thing that we need is more room to the upside and we need a close above which is going to be a bullish sentiment so qqq looks good if we close above here if we push again you know right at a market open watch the five minute if we start breaking out and our price target is going to be this wick just like apple so make sure to go to tradingview.com you guys can use my link in the description and make sure to follow along with the chart now let's take a look at spy the last um stock that i'm looking at and this is the again the overall market so QQQ, you had the tech ETF. This includes Home Depot, Caterpillar, um, Procter and Gamble, all the banks, all the airlines. This this includes the top 500 fortune. Okay, so the top 500 companies in us and we can see you know same scenario we broke a major major level of resistance and really just the same scenario going on with spy and the overall market looks really really good the chart and technical analysis is really screaming bullish if we start closing above and pushing that level of resistance and one thing to really keep in mind is again kind of like that stop loss um going on so overall that is it and i know i've been posting for one month because it's really really hard to find plays you know my trading style it took me a whole year to really be comfortable with this trading style and to really understand and you know i finally finalized it but finding these plays it takes a while it takes long so overall hope you guys enjoy this video subscribe with notifications on um, hoping to post another one tomorrow and if i see some other setups i'll be going over that hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys later bye bye